All right, Joker reviews are in. Apparently, the Joker movie was screened at some festival. I already forgot the name, but uh, critics have seen it. At least some of them have. Uh, and Jim Vevida from IGN, I don't know how the fuck you say his name, but he already has a review up on IGN, and he's saying it's amazing. And there's also people on Twitter that are praising it already that have seen it. And it's really telling because this movie is still a month away from being released. And the reviews are going to start coming out like probably in the next couple weeks. And IGN has the first review of it. And this will probably be the critic consensus of the whole movie. You know, once you hear like one review, you pretty much heard them all. And from the few people that have seen it, they're saying it's amazing. It's game changing. It's one of the best comic book movies ever made. It's one of the best character studies. That just happens to take place in a Batman world. And I am super hyped for Joker. <laughs> I'm super hyped for it. And I'm not just saying that because some shadowy organizations tell me to say that. I'm saying that because I'm genuinely excited. I know Joaquin Phoenix is one of the best living actors right now. Todd Phillips has been coming up. You know, he's been getting better and better with every film. And it's just the perfect mix right now. It's a movie in the DC Universe that doesn't have to be connected to the DC Universe or anything that's going on. And it's focused on just one character specifically. And it just happens to be uh, the most popular Batman villain. Now since there's already a review up on IGN about the movie, that shows that Warner Brothers is super confident in this film. This is going to be an Oscar contender. There's no question about it. We don't even have to see the film to know that. It's going to give The Dark Knight a run for its money. This is going to be an actual film. And there's a difference between movies and films. Movies are, you know, fun things you go to, to eat popcorn to. Films are something that you study. Like, to me, Batman vs. Superman is a film, you know? And Aquaman is a movie. There's a difference, you know? There's a subtle difference to all this stuff. And Joker falls in that category of almost an art house film. Along the lines of a taxi driver, you know, and Martin Scorsese, I think he's still producing the film, if I'm not mistaken, and he was originally going to be the director, but he ended up leaving the project and uh, Todd Phillips uh, took on the movie, but this gets me very excited. It's been a while since we've had a movie in the DC Universe that is Oscar worthy, that has been uh, beloved by everybody. That's going to be one of those... Uh, Films that you study in film class, you know, like The Dark Knight. And, you know, I'm just going to throw this out there. You know, if you're Matt Reeves making your Batman film, you have to leave it open to connect to this Joker film. Because this Joker film is taking place in the 80s. Matt Reeves' Batman possibly is taking place in the 90s. So there is a way we can connect this. Thomas Wayne is going to be in the Joker movie. So Batman's not Batman yet. And... There's a good chance they could tie this all together. I would be surprised if Joaquin Phoenix wants to be in a franchise like that. That, you know, he wants to be on the same screen as Batman. I don't know if that's something he would want. Because he's, uh, he's a very passionate artist. He does go method. And maybe he doesn't want to be in the Joker headspace <laughs> for a long time, you know. But if they could find some way to tie this into Matt Reeves' Batman, it would put that way over the top. And all of a sudden... The DC Universe is looking pretty good. Like, <laughs> the, at least the Batman side of the universe is looking solid. And these films will distinguish themselves from other comic book films. And that's the big takeaway. Joker should be the start of what DC films should be. And that is giving these DC characters to directors that are passionate about what they're making. To actors that want to be in the film. You know, to, to people that are trying to make the best possible film. And they're not just there for the money. They're there to make something that lasts. A film that stands the test of time. And it's looking like Joker's going to be that. And this could be the start of something uh, good, you know. Uh, the Birds of Prey teaser was leaking out. A Russian version of it. And that looks like it's going to be like a rated R, uh, you know, more grounded film. And this is the direction these DC movies should take. This is it. They need to distinguish themselves. They need to put out films that are geared towards adults because, you know, adults that love comic books have nowhere to go. You know, like you have Marvel, which is a uh, very family friendly. And then you have DC, which is more adult and serious. And that's exactly DC's bread and butter. That's exactly what they should be pandering to. 
And yeah, you could mix in a few fun films like Suicide Squad. Like, you know that's going to be a fun film. You know the next Aquaman is going to be family friendly. You know the next Wonder Woman is going to be family friendly. But there are loads of characters that could be geared towards adults. Batman being one of them for sure. And if this Joker movie does Game Busters, if it makes a billion dollars, if this is like one of the best uh, films of the year, which is what it's looking like by the early reviews, then that opens the door for every other Batman villain. You could literally make a film on every Batman villain and have like Robert Pattinson's uh, Batman cameo in the film. And then it like all comes to head in some Bat Family movie where you see all these villains taking on the Bat Family or something. Like they could go a direction. They could. All I'm seeing is dollar signs. And I'm sure they're seeing dollar signs too. And it all depends on how well Joker does. And looking like it's going to make a lot of money. It's definitely got the critic consensus behind it. It's got the hype behind it. It's got the talent behind it. This is going to be a big film. Everybody's super interested to see this film. And this is what DC needs to do. They need to lean into this heavy. You know, they need to gear their movies towards adults. 25 and up. (laughs) That's what they need to be gearing their shit to. At least some of them. It's definitely something the competition is not doing. And after this Joker film is successful, DC Films needs to start looking at other characters like the Green Lantern Corps and start thinking, hey, maybe we can make this more adult, more serious. Because Green Lantern certainly has enough heavy stories that you can draw from. And it would kind of be like the opposite of Guardians of the Galaxy. Like a space adventure, but they're taking it deadly serious. Like, I would love that. And the opportunity's there. So let's see if uh, Warner Brothers is smart enough to do it. Joker's going to be a big hit. It's looking great. And I can't wait to see it. I hope everybody else feels the same way. Thank you to everybody that's uh, subscribed lately. And comment below and let me know uh, what you think of IGN's review of the Joker. Uh... I didn't watch it all the way through. I just saw, like, the parts where he's gloating about it because I don't want to be spoiled on anything. I mean, I'm good to go, you know? A movie with Joaquin Phoenix playing the Joker, you already had me. I I didn't even need to see the final trailer. I mean, I'm good. (laughs) I'm there day one. But anyway, yeah, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.